welcome back to the Holiday Road Travel Vlog. We are coming to you from Virginia, uh, more specifically the town of Front Royal, and we are here to see our 24th National Park, um, which is Shenandoah National Park. So we just stopped for some barbecue for lunch. We just rolled in, Blakely's ready to go, and then we're gonna head into the National Park. Lunch was super good. I got the pulled pork the and I got the tacos. But of course she had to have her afternoon coffee. So we're downtown in beautiful Front Royal. This town is actually really cool. There's a lot of awesome stores and things to do. So we're gonna roam around here for a minute before we head into the park for the first time. I did indeed get my coffee. I went to a place called DL, I think coffee and ice cream. There's two coffee places in town. This one said it was the best on the Yelp reviews I was reading. So I tried it uh, and I can say it's pretty good. Blakely started crying, so we made our way in through the entrance of Shenandoah National Park. So Front Royal is the town that kind of serves as the home base for the National Park. Um, and Shenandoah is part of the Appalachian Mountains, so it's very similar to Great Smoky Mountain National Park, but less than 10% of the annual visitors here, only about a million people come to this park per year. So we've made our way through the north entrance, uh, out of Front Royal. We're four miles into the Dickey Ridge Visitor Center. Uh, and while Deanna um, feeds the baby, I'm gonna go in and see uh, maybe some family friendly hikes and different things we can do throughout the next couple days. It's always worth stopping at the visitor center. So our first hike that they told us about is actually gonna be right here at the Dickey Ridge Trail. Then we're gonna go a couple more miles into the park um, and see a waterfall and a few other hikes along the way. Now it's important to note, Skyline Drive, which is the main road that goes through the park, is 125 miles long. So this is a big park. We're not gonna get through all of it in two days, but we're gonna see as much as we can. We're trying out a new carrier today, and it seems to be working. I mean, it's a lot easier than carrying her earlier with the old one, and she was only a lot less weight then. So, like, they can go through the camera and say how the hike is going. And she just wants to chew my uh, chew my zipper. But this is uh, Fox Hollow Trail. It's only like 30 minutes. It's right next to the first visitor center. Lately needed to get out of the car for a little bit. So that's why we uh, jumped on this one here. Um, but I guess there's an old cemetery. So pretty cool stuff. We made it, finished our first hike here at Shenandoah National Park. I'll say it's a lot harder with a 25 pound baby strapped to your front. Uh, but yeah, it was cool. Uh, nothing super crazy to see, but nice, easy loop, really cool scenery. We're here at the Signal Knob Overlook. It's absolutely stunning out here. Uh, all the little farms and, and the, the uh, Shenandoah River kind of weaving in and out of everything. It's absolutely beautiful down there. And the other thing we can't get over is this park is pretty empty. We're here on a Friday in April uh, and we have pretty much every overlook and hike to ourselves right now. So I'm sure it's not that way all the time, but right now is great. We have this entire beautiful place almost completely to ourselves. Just finished our second hike here in Shenandoah. This one with a big payoff. Just a mile marker nine as you come into the park from Front Royal. Uh, really cool. Less than a mile hike down here. Uh, awesome, awesome waterfall. What did you girls think of our second hike? This second hike was a lot more interesting, I feel like, than the first. The waterfall at the end is very cool. Uh, the hike up's gonna be a little bit harder. It's a little bit steeper of a drop down here and then hike back up. Uh, but overall, pretty cool. My dreams are now a step away. So we just finished up yesterday with the uh, that awesome waterfall hike. 
Um, today is day two. We're going into the middle portion of the park, which is supposedly the better portion and a little bit more crowded. Um, but the weather kind of took a turn for us today. So it's super, super windy outside, 50, 60 mile an hour wind gusts, which we weren't expecting at all. So we're not sure how much we're gonna be out of the car, but we can at least see the park from uh, Skyline Drive. Where we can go and be alone So come away with me, nobody has to Deanna, what are your thoughts so far on Shenandoah National Park? Uh, I'm impressed. It's better than some of the other national parks we've been to, I think. Not as good as some of the western ones, but... We made it to the Skyland section of the park here. Um, they've got bathrooms, dining. We're going to get things ready to go with Blakely. And then we're going to head on our main hike for the day, which is Stony Man, which is the easiest summit to get to. Uh, like I said, it's super windy today, so we're hopeful that we can make it. But we do want to be conscious with the baby, so we're just trying to be careful. Um, but, yeah, it looks really cool here. We're going to explore and see all what's on the grounds. I was just calling to see if you're free to run away with me to run away with me shortly outside of the skyland parking uh dining room visitor center gift shop whatever you want to call it is the uh parking spot for the stony man summit trail this trail is 1.6 miles long and it's the easiest accessible summit in the park with a baby we're going for easily accessible so we're heading up there now um should be fun elevations like 350 not too crazy uh, but i heard the views are great deanna offered to take uh blakely for this one she's doing a great job it's like i'm pregnant again so really no difference yeah only the baby's <laughs> a little bigger than she used to be but how are you doing blakely hi hi Tell your friends, we'll let them know we're safe later on. Rose calling so We've almost made it. Sleeping under the stars when it's gone. I was just calling to see if you're free. It's a little windy up here, so Blakely doesn't love that, but we've made it. After finishing the awesome Stony Man hike, we've come down just a little bit to the rest of the Skyline Center to grab lunch. So uh, we really enjoyed lunch. I totally forgot to get any video of our food or really any video at all of it. So sorry about that. But we came up to our next uh, visitor center, which is the Big Meadows area. Huge, huge open meadow on the top of this mountain. It's really cool. best displays on the history of the park of any of the national parks we've been to. You can see just huge exhibits, tons of information, and we're learning about a lot, a lot about the history of the park. All right, I will say hands down, the Big Meadows Visitor Center in Shenandoah National Park is probably the best visitor center we have ever visited. A huge uh, museum layout did, uh, detailing the history of the park. They've got videos playing in there. Uh, really, really cool. Definitely the best visitor center in the park. One of the best visitor centers of any of the national parks that we've this seen. This is unreal. Turn we right. accidentally <laughs> stumbled across the third and final location <laughs> of Cooter's Place, the Dukes of Hazard Museum. I have been to the other two and I knew there was a third in Virginia. I have no idea why it's here in the middle of nowhere, but I'm freaking pumped. <laughs> this is awesome. I'm, we're, this is like getting all the crown jewels off. How lucky are we? <laughs>
This is great. Five minutes ago, we got out of the park, and um, apparently it ended at three. So I'm really bummed about that. Uh, we could have maybe even met Cooter, but that's okay. We're still here. I don't even know how to describe what just happened, but uh, yeah, we left Shenandoah National Park. We're done there for the day. We're heading back to Front Royal to shop and eat, um, but we ran across this third and final Dukes of Hazzard location. The other locations in Nashville and yeah. Pigeon Forge, which we've been to both. So I was super excited to cross, cross the final one off the list. I'm a huge Dukes of Hazzard fan. And then Deanna, who's been looking for craft <laughs> soda all day, found a Dukes of Hazzard Cooter's Garage branded craft soda. And my favorite ice cream flavor. So, so it's, it's really a big stop for us here, right outside <laughs> of Shenandoah National Park. One cool thing about being in the state of Virginia is there's a lot of really cool colonial history here. Um, Stonewall Jackson's headquarters is in a town just north of here. So was George Washington's office. Uh, this here um, says that Front Royal was a town that Stonewall Jackson captured from the Union. Um, so just really cool stuff, historical facts everywhere, lots to learn. So we explored the town of Front, uh, Front Royal and we were a little bit disappointed because there wasn't as much going on there as what we thought. But we decided, why not explore the town north where we were staying for the weekend, which was Winchester, Virginia. And boy, were we not disappointed. This place was hopping, so much cool stuff. We're just disappointed we didn't get here a little sooner and more things were open. Um, but we'll show you a little bit of what, uh, what we saw and some cool old buildings. Um, a lot of really neat stuff here. <laughs> 